Isaac Bell here, and you know, I never see much nuance on the subject of Rob Liefeld. It's like either he's your daddy and can do no wrong, or he's the absolute worst person to ever exist. But I wonder, is there more of a gray area here than anyone actually acknowledges? Is it possible that Rob Liefeld is a complex subject? worthy of intelligent scrutiny? No. I thought so too. But first, I know it's very popular to dunk on this guy's art skills. Oh my gosh, this thumbnail is gonna get me so many clicks. But I gotta say, I personally am a big fan of his artwork, and I'll tell you why. Now, I am under no illusions that stuff like this is going to be everyone's cup of tea, or rather, cup of toxic waste spiked Kool-Aid, drunk from the hollowed out skulls of your enemies. And if you were to tell me that Liefeld has a plethora of technical issues with his art, stuff like weird hands or perspective, I'd say, well done, Captain Obvious. You have proven to the rest of us that you have eyeballs. But I just have to point out, while it takes about three brain cells to notice the sword doesn't quite fit in the hand right or whatever, a deeper understanding of comic art is required to articulate why his work, despite those obvious errors, is so undeniably effective. And I would say Liefeld's technical strengths lie in composition, gesture, and design all major aspects of comic art that tend to go over people's heads. My point being, Liefeld's strengths are much less easily defined or articulated, especially when it comes to that weird it factor thing tied up in his style, which is what made his work so effortlessly impactful. And this really is a to each their own kind of situation. Either this guy's work does it for you or it doesn't. It's actually as simple as that, and trashing the guy's work does not make you more sophisticated, nor will it help you get a girlfriend. For me personally, there was always just something so deeply visceral in the chaos of this guy's lines, something that I have always connected with. And the fury of those testosterone-addled maniacs from his comics always just filled me with excitement and imagination. So, you know, let me have my fun. He's a controversial figure, and in many ways, the subject of Rob Liefeld has perhaps unfortunately been defined by the weird bandwagons that seem to form around the guy. First, he was the golden boy. Everybody loved Liefeld. Not me. He was that faithful kid that was working three jobs to help his dad fight cancer, all while building up a portfolio that landed him gigs at Marvel and DC Comics. I mean, I know quite a few people who have been trying to land one of those gigs their entire life. Then he went on to create some of the most influential characters that we've seen in decades. I am so glad you care. Before jumpstarting the image comics revolution that shook the comic industry to its core back in the 90s, he wasn't just a part of the excitement back then. He was one of the main architects of it. Everyone loved Liefeld back then. Just knowing who the guy was got you some extra street cred. Then time went on. There was a big crash in the comic market. Those Image Comics founders, they did lose a good deal of their shine. And that's when Liefeld became a target of the entire internet. Womp womp. And mobs of emotionally challenged incels. Oh, you know I got the fire anti-Liefeld content. Started numerous blogs dedicated to slandering the man in every way possible. Whoa, can you believe this? He made the muscles way too big. It's almost as if he's exaggerating the human form to symbolically portray power or something. They were really upset with the way he drew stuff. Your art offends me, sir. Now you must suffer. Writing those aforementioned internet blogs, shitting all over Rob Liefeld, We had fully entered a time 
when it was no longer cool to dig Liefeld, and a new hate-filled bandwagon was in full effect. It lasted for many years, and I often found myself in internet spaces surrounded by people berating me for my tastes in comic book art. <laughs> you like Rob Liefeld? Thankfully, those dark times couldn't last forever. But what came next was probably the weirdest for me. I call this the hipster bandwagon. I remember when this started, there were a bunch of wonderful people on YouTube that put forth this idea that it didn't really matter what Rob Liefeld's artwork looked like because he's an enthusiastic guy who loves comic books. Therefore, it's okay for us to, to like Rob Liefeld again. There you go, guys. You're allowed to like Rob Liefeld, albeit in a weird, ironic way. This is, this is just great. And thus, a new army of lemmings was born. Ones who, much like the previous bandwagoneers, refused to come up with their own opinion. And actually, I, I think probably a lot of people don't really need to have an opinion about Rob Liefeld. I mean, me personally, I, I grew up as a massive fan of his work. His art has touched my life in some pretty crucial ways. So I can't help but have an emotional response to the subject. But you know, a lot of these other people that are just going along, they wanna be a part of the conversation. Like you don't have to have an opinion on everything. Like, you know, if you don't know anything about Rob Liefeld, when people ask you about them, you can just say, well, I don't really know. That is an option, guys. It's an option. Because me, I've had to hear these ideas parroted over and over again at the comic conventions over the past decade or so. Don't you just love how enthusiastic Rob Liefeld is about comics? And honestly, it has been a bit excruciating. For me, when it comes to art, I am just a fiend looking for my fix. Some comic art just really does it for me. And I know it instantly when I see it because of how it makes me feel. That is all that matters. Is this art giving me that feeling of excitement and connection that I crave so much? So how about this? Enjoy what you like and fuck what people think. But let me be clear, I am a Rob Liefeld fan, not a Rob Liefeld sycophant. And I have no illusions that this guy is like a perfect angel that could do no wrong Rob Liefeld is in fact very human, very fallible, and uh, yeah, he, he makes his own missteps from time to time, all of them being extremely public. Anytime he makes a mistake, everyone knows about it, everyone discusses it, it becomes a part of the online discourse, and there's drama, and there's other stuff. I don't know, I stay out of it mostly. And this is the part of the video where the nuance comes in. As far as public missteps go, the one that really bothers me, being that I am a crowdfund guy, he ran a campaign on Kickstarter about 10 years ago. Like honestly, when I started making this video, I was, I, I thought about that. I thought about the, the Kickstarter debacle. And I was like, you know, he's probably got that taken care of by now. As the story goes, Liefeld ran this big Kickstarter campaign back in the day and supposedly never fulfilled it. But in my research, I kept finding stuff like this. And I gotta say, as someone who runs these campaigns for a living, to me, this looks a lot less cut and dry as many might think. From what I can tell, Liefeld fulfilled the campaign extremely late and when people complained, he refused to send their rewards. This destroyed people's trust in Rob Liefeld's ability to fulfill a campaign. Liefeld likely could have been making serious bank off Kickstarter these past 10 years. But now that people have seen the way he treats his backers, he somewhat effectively cut himself off from a market that was tailor-made for creators like himself. And there is a ton to this story that none of us know about. We're not privy to the behind the scenes or why things went down the way they did but calling this a big scam that was intended to cheat people out of their money or saying that it was like this great big success that went down swimmingly 
Uh, yeah, neither of those two sides are actually true. And Liefeld might even find a way to get himself back into the market. We shall see. There is even a Facebook group about this, as well as a, a Better Business Bureau rating. And this is a lot more common with big names than you think. Uh, there's one creator that I saw had a really old campaign on Kickstarter. It raised over a million dollars. He never fulfilled the campaign. And now at comic conventions, he keeps a sign up at his booth that says, don't ask about the Kickstarter. I feel like that's kind of a problem. And this is a weird touchy subject. You know, I do crowdfunding too. It is very difficult to to make all the stuff work where like everyone gets their stuff and they're happy and whatnot. It's called doing your job. So there's this other part to it too. And uh, so, okay, like years ago, I was planning to launch a campaign on Indiegogo and I was doing a bunch of research and I kept finding these creators that had launched on Kickstarter back in the day. They didn't fulfill their stuff and then they just switched to Indiegogo later for new campaigns. And uh, I was like a little salty about that. Like, what are these people doing? It's always smart to spend your time worrying about what other people are f***ing up rather than what you yourself are f***ing up. But I was having a, 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 a bad moment there. I posted on Twitter about it. I was like, man, this is, this is screwed up. But I didn't put anyone's names in it. You know, I wasn't trying to start drama. I was just like, hey, this, this is lame. And I certainly didn't have Rob Liefeld in mind when I made that tweet. But as it turns out, Rob Liefeld is one of the people who did that very thing. And when I made this tweet, a bunch of other people started tagging Rob Liefeld into it. And I was like, hmm, this is definitely gonna get me blocked. And it did. So it is kind of a weird thing now. You know, I, I sit before you as a, uh, a man who is blocked by one of his all time favorite comic book artists. That is strange to come to terms with, but uh, I actually didn't take it that personally. Okay, I gotta call myself out here a little bit because, uh, you know, I don't take it personally now, but at the time, I was extremely butthurt. Blocking people for minor infractions or no reason at all is just kind of what Liefeld does. this weird thing that happened? Rob Liefeld. Well, he added me one day on Facebook and I shot him a message. I was like, oh, that's cool. Saying thank you for adding me. That's awesome. And he said that he liked my artwork. I mean, it was just so brief. It wasn't even like any real interaction, honestly, to me. It was like us acknowledging each other, saying hello, uh, I like your art, I like your art too. And then like one day he blocked me and I have no idea. I was just very, very confused because the only interaction we had was positive. Blocking me out of nowhere, that was odd. So if I make a pro Rob Liefeld video, what do you think of that? I, I honestly, I don't really care. Like, you like his artwork, that's cool. He has his own thing going on. I don't know why I got blocked, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Man, you're dropping all the F-bombs in my video. I have to bleep all of them out, you know? Beep, 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 beep. Get over it. Well, thank you for appearing in this video. I know that our viewers love it. That's cool. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't offend anyone. Actually, this channel is specifically to offend people. Maybe you could try to be a little more offensive. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Support my art book, bros. I'm working on it right now. Oh, okay. You got a you got an art book in the works. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Is that the Alexa Lowe art book? Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, I'm excited for that. And All I right. promise I won't block anyone randomly just for no reason. So you guys can all enjoy my artwork. So I will say like the subject of Rob Liefeld has uh, has become pretty weird for me. Part of me still just like really adores this guy and just loves his work. And then part of me is like, eh, not as enamored with him. But I have become big on separating the art from the artist. And the reality is, Rob Liefeld's work will always be so deeply important to me. It will always have provided that influence that really pushed me. No one can take that away from me, not even Rob Liefeld himself. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll be back real soon in the next one. Peace.